3, 2, unité, top. The second generation of Meteosat uh, will contribute significantly uh, to operational metrology, but not only operational metrology, but also to meteorological research and climate monitoring. The satellite and the instruments have been designed to improve significantly uh, the short-range weather forecasting, uh, up to the long-range weather forecasting and, of course, our knowledge about uh, the climate. It's an operational meteorological mission and this means uh, a few important things. First, it means that its primary purpose is to deliver observations, data and services to uh, user community and such observations, as you know in meteorology, have to be available in real time. Uh, second, this means that continuity and availability of such services need to be available over a long period of time. Last but not least, it means that this program, this mission, has a customer. For the first time, the young UMETSAT organization was given the opportunity to influence the definition of a new system, but also to pay for it. And uh, there was a lot of time dedicated to balancing uh, the ambitions and the affordability of the program. And in the end, the decision was made uh, to have only an imagery mission. And this was driven by a big storm hitting Europe and the UK in particular in 1987, which helped the users focus on this priority for imagery. We selected a spinning satellite, and this was the right choice. Uh, because until recently, uh, MSG has been the best geostationary imagery mission in the world. The very short range forecasting where the frequent imaging every 15 minutes we get an image will help the forecaster sitting for instance at the airport to issue warnings because he gets a much better description of the rapid development for instance of the rear thunderstorms. I think it's really exciting because I think we're going to be able to watch climate processes in a way we've never watched them before. So I really think it will improve our ability to predict the future of our climate and really give us a much greater understanding of how our climate works. So in 1995, we had just taken over the ground segment of the first generation Metosat from ESA. But we had not time to celebrate. We had to jump into the complex development of the Meteosat second generation ground segment and to integrate seven facilities together with a complex test program. This was a challenge. The second challenge is that we had to experience a new model of cooperation with ESA. And fortunately, for all these challenges, we had a, a program manager of the caliber of Sergio Rota. Normally, uh, by the time we are operating one generation of satellites, we are already building the next generation to ensure continuity, as we've done with Meteosats, and we start to think about the third generation. MTG program is a follow-up um, of the for the continuation of services uh, in place with four imagery satellites and additional two sounding satellites, new of its kind, uh, for the 3D mapping of the atmosphere. We are deep in the detailed design phase, and the launch of the first imagery satellite is planned for 2019.